We're here with Michael Fries, who is the CEO of Liberty Global. Welcome and congratulations on being here this evening. Thank you very much. Yeah. Um, tell me what's the most exciting thing to you about being here tonight. You know, I think this is a great organization. Um, my dad has been part of it for 40 years, so that is one of the most exciting things for me, to be here with him, for him. Uh, I also think what they do in terms of supporting young artists, young creative talent in this community is super important. And the company I run, you know, we have 30 million customers around the world and we rely heavily on Hollywood content. We spend billions every year on it, so... Uh, Can you tell it. me a little bit about what the company sure. that you run? Liberty Global is the largest cable TV operator outside the U.S. We're like Comcast, basically, but outside the U.S. We're uh, in uh, 30 countries. We offer, of course, digital video, mobile services, internet, broadband. Uh, and we've been in business 25 years. We're a pretty big company, but content is, of course, at the heart of what we do, and delivering that content to our consumers is really important. So, And tell me the evolution in content, where it is now with Hulu, Netflix, Amazon Prime. It's what are your thoughts on that? Speed. There's a lot going on in this space. There's a lot of disruption, but also a lot of innovation. So finding that balance, I think it's actually an incredible time for TV. I think this is sort of a golden age for television, and... Um, our customers are watching the good stuff, whether they're watching on their iPhone or their iPad or their TV or their or their computer. They want the good stuff, and that's what comes out of this community. So. so speaking of the good stuff, where are people getting their content now? It seems like all these platforms are at an yeah. urge for good new content. You know, what are most, your most people still sit down on the couch and turn on the channel that they love. In more and more instances, they're watching it on their cell phones. They're rewinding on their DVRs. So whether you're place shifting, time shifting, or device shifting, you're still watching the same stuff. That is a good thing. I mean, the more time, more opportunity you can provide people to watch great stuff is good for us. And everybody's different. Young people finding it in one place. Maybe you're getting it somewhere. You know, older people finding it somewhere else. But everybody seems to be satisfied. And I don't think it's hap it's it's disrupting our industry that much, but I think it's a really exciting time for the TV business. It is an exciting time, but as these platforms expand and say, you know, there's going to be more net, there's going to be more platforms like Netflix and Hulu sure. expanding, where do you think the content's going to be coming from as far as the well, demand? The same industry is going to have to be providing the writers, producers, directors, talent, uh, actors, and so I think it all comes from the same, same places. The question is who's financing it and who's distributing it. And Netflix is an incredible, uh, you know, service. We put Netflix inside of our cable boxes. We want you to be able to watch Netflix right next to HBO, right next to anything you've got. So, to me, they're an incredible content provider and investor in content. And the fact that they distribute some of it over the internet, great. Doesn't bother us at all. Well, thank you so much. We look forward to everything that you have going and all the great. TV shows on your your platform as well. Your, your... Thanks. So, thank you so much. Right. Have a great night.